What's happening, people? It's your boy Sky for the AM Countdown, only on SkyOnlineRadio.net. But don't get it twisted. You can check out that podcast at MovingSkyward.Podomatic.com as well. Can't hate on them. Yo, we got this interview thing going, though. And I got the honor and the privilege and the pleasure and all of those other accolades that go along with that to have my guy, OG Penguin, on the line. What's good, homie? Man, everything is good. You know, I'm I'm truly blessed, and I'm and I'm and I'm honored to be with uh with you in this conversation right now. You know, truly. Hey, man. Likewise, likewise. Um, you 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 out of Texas? You know, um, yeah. that you know, for for people that you know only only heard of Texas, you know, when it was highlighted majorly. You know, um, talk like talk about you know the ability for an independent artist, well, a good independent artist, because you know everybody think you know if you say it's good for indie, then you could just push BS and it'll be successful down there, and that's no, you know, that's not true. But talk about how you can grind as an independent artist. In okay. Texas and the surrounding areas versus maybe some other other places in this country. Okay, okay, that's a um, that's a good question, Scott. That's a good question. Um, a good topic. I'm a, I'm gonna just you know I'm gonna give you you know the game is, is to be sold, not told. You know. That's okay. To be told. Okay. You know. But uh, okay. rules are meant to be broken. <laughs> no by boss. So, uh, and I, no. I'm gonna go give you the game. I'm gonna give you the game. Everybody listening, okay? All that talk and and creating boundaries, you know, within your mind about you know you being stuck in a city or not being able to do something because you're not there here or there, and you know you never even been. You know, to those places you don't know, and and truly, it's all the same. Now, and what I say that to say, with the internet, you know, Skype and and cell phones and all this, you you are everywhere. You know, it being in, in Texas ain't no different than uh being in LA. You know, because mm-hmm. you have to, you you know, because you you can network with all the necessary people you have to, and you can shoot there and and shoot here and there. You know, you never stuck nowhere mm-hmm. unless you you stuck. If you still you stuck somewhere, that's in your mind, and you are stuck. You know, you, what I'm saying is, you need to get that out of your head. Okay, right. what I you like need that. to do? Like that. Yeah, this, this is real. You know, uh, I'm gonna try to. Uh, say this, you know, the, the most comprehensive way possible. You need to, artists, independent artists listening and want to know what they need to do. I'm going to tell you some some real shit. Can I, I can say shit, right? Yeah, man, you good, Scott. bro. You good. We, okay. We uncensored. Okay, good. Okay, go I, I can say pussy. You say whatever you want. Okay, okay, okay. I just like to say that word, one of my favorite words, pussy. Okay. Pay attention. All right. You need to love your fans. You need to acquire fans. You need your fans to love you. You don't need no major record label. All right. Your main focus need to be fans. I love my fans. Every time I go to a show, I point them out. You know, because without your fans, you truly have nothing. Your music is only special to you. And those people, it, when, when you do get fans, which you will, you need to always show them the utmost respect and entertain them and watch your fan base grow because you show love, you're going to get love back. If you have, if you have a hundred fans that spend a hundred, a hundred dollars on you throughout the year, do the math. You got a hundred thousand dollars. If they buy merchandise from you, your albums, your posters, your shirts, your hats, your beanies, your bandanas, you keep engaging with them, your fans. You know, you, this is what I hear a lot. 
Oh, cuz, man, we do this show over here in St. Louis. We do this show in New Orleans. We got fans all over the place. And I asked them this. You got all the email addresses? No, no, no. But we got 8,000 fans. You, if you got 8,000 fans, bro, you sitting on a gold mine. Each 8,000 8, people. You need to be engaged with them at least twice a week with new content, pictures, what you're doing in the studio, who you working with, what you got going on. Give them a free track. Love them motherfuckers, man. You got to love your fans. For real, sincerely. But you don't got nothing. This is game, bro. What I'm telling people because they focus is totally somewhere else. And they fail to realize no, this. But look, man, OG, this, that's why they cut you off. Usually, once somebody's made their point, I, I kind of be like, all right, I got you. And I go to the next question. But they needed <laughs> to hear all of that. Because, because no, no, Dick, you are reiterating some of the things that I've said over and over and over again. You know, like they're thinking about all the long things. You know, like everybody thinks if you go to Atlanta, that's the end all be all. Or, yo, if I get here or, 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 or whatever, and what I, what I try to tell them is, yo, you have a hundred fans. <laughs> and if they are committed to you, people show commitment with their money. You know, like people people are proud to pay for shit they want or they like. They don't care. Like, and I tell people all the time, you know, those that grew up in the church or whatever, I was like, yo, compare it to when they the, the the pastor asks for something specific and you see people waving that fifty dollar bill as they walk down the yeah, aisle. They wanna get rid of that money. Place. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. they are like, oh, I, I, I love the fact that I am putting it here for the Lord or for, what, or for whatever the cause was. You know, and we won't get in, you know, to the church or whatever. Yeah. I just want to use that <laughs> as an example of, yeah. you know, the, the money and how people, you know, feel about it. They say we're going through a recession. I'm like, shit, I can't tell. You know, everybody, right. everybody popping bottles. Everybody right. smoking a premium. Everybody right. wearing jeans. So Come put on. some money out there somewhere. <laughs> you know yeah, what I'm yeah. So, Somebody working. That's why or I'm getting it. Yeah. I don't care how you get it. Yeah. You know, you got a source of income. Shit. Yeah. You know, so that's why I ain't going to go but, mm. but, you know, but now we're going to get into this, this mm -hmm. big year record, man. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I got the email. I see that you know I'm late to the party. You know, how did that feel, man? To have so many people like myself from all across the world that not only are spinning your record, but you know, interviewed you really and, and still behind the record. You know, what I'm saying, how did that make? Um, it's good. And, and, and good is uh, too little of a word. It's uh, it's a feeling of uh, a complete feeling, you know. I, I just love to be able to connect, you know, because um, it's, it's human nature to want to connect with a, with another being, you know. And 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 if I know I connected with somebody because they love it, they or they email me or whatever. It's just a, a completeness feeling, you know. It may, it make me want to continue to do for them, you know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, it, it's, do it's, you it's have any awesome artists bro. like like? I, but I, I see like you you move like even though you're an artist, you you yeah. also are a businessman. So like, are you Absolutely. working on like developing artists under you, and yes. or, or do yes. you have artists under you? You know, presence. Yes. Yes, um, it's um, it's interesting, you know, because uh, I I'm all business, um, yeah, at all, at all times, you know. When I open my eyes, mm -hmm. the show has started, you know. Mm -hmm. I'm working, you know. If I if I have to make an appearance somewhere, whether I'm on stage or just to be there, I'm working, you know. Mm -hmm. Like I say, when I open my eyes in the morning. I'm working. 
Okay. Um. Fuck. Okay. Um. um speaking of working, you got your imprint is um is through um Orchard. A am I correct, or is that just um like a partnership? No, no, no. I, I, I'm 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 sub labeled under MCFL. Much love, shout okay. out to my girl. You know, the woman behind the curtain, <laughs> Lisa. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Much love to her. I love her truly. She's an angel, uh, and so many others. I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna hit them a little bit later. You know, but I'm, let me just say also that you know to answer back to your question. Yeah, I have I have a, a whole conglomerate of uh, business endeavors artist in development 2016 uh it will be revealed and you will see the artist roster for penguin music group which is my record label uh sub labeled under mcfl and uh sony archer you know which has this distribution and I, i'm still have some room for artists that understand the recording industry as it is in 2015 and invest in, in their career their careers and have a budget you need to get at me because you know I can I can I can separate you from the the pack. I can get you out the pack at least. You know what you do with the knowledge is up to you. But I have an artist development uh, campaign, a program for you know rising artists that I can help you with. Get at me. I'm not hard to find. Uh, OGPenguin.com. OGPenguin.com. That's it. I'm not hard to find. Mm -hmm. So I have all all kind of things going on, you know. It's interesting to me. I'm sorry, I, I, you know the the way people perceive OG Penguin, you know, from um, out the box, you know, right away, whatever. Uh, they don't realize that. Yeah, I, I am a businessman. You know, if you uh, you know uh, an authentic individual, you should know that. You know, by listening to my music, if you read between the lines. Oh, indeed. So, indeed. yeah. Say yeah. But, I, I, yeah, say yeah, definitely. Um, <laughs> say what yeah. I want, what, I, what I wanted to ask you, man, um, in addition to that, man, is, um, you know, the, the state of Texas, you know, has a rich music um, history. And, you know, even though you, you can make it in other places, like for you, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. from there... Like, does it like add pressure? You know what I'm saying. And, and when I say pressure, it's not like, oh my God, I don't want to fail. But <laughs> it's like for me, yeah. for like me coming from Jersey and being so close to New York, so relating to like the tri-state area. You know, like I put myself up against like an Elliot Wilson or Angie Martinez. You know what I'm saying? Like, like these are people <laughs> that you know are you know what I'm saying. So I know for you. Just you know, just like the minimum contact we had, I know you strive for excellence. So that, I just want to know, like, what do you like ultimately aspire, like your company conglomerate, um, con you know, con excuse me, conglomerate to be, you know, at okay. the end of the day, um, in comparison to what's already been there. I I, I ask everybody uh, to do things. That uh, I, like I put it this way, I, I ask of everyone. Um, if I ask you to do something, I, I, I'm not asking you to do something that I haven't done already or that I wouldn't do myself. You know, sacrifice and strive for excellence, and always try to deliver better than what you did before. I want your best. If I'm working with an artist in any level, if I work with a graphic designer or a recording engineer or a videographer. An artist, I want your when you work with me. I want your best. As of today, I put I, I put pressure on every artist that I work for that I hire if I need to, you know. And I'm only helping them. I I, I want I want to develop people. Uh, I want their artists, the true artists, to come out. And I can I know a true artist when I see one. You know, I, I got I have a gift. Um, a true gift, you know. I got, I got this fucking eye right here between my, my head, my forehead, you know, and it's, it's open wide. And I, I know a, a person who has a vision when I see one, 
know, or even hear one, the way they talk about their art. And I know that passion. And then I want you, you know, you know, like if you're a videographer, I'm looking for all type of shit. Don't, you know, I tell people, don't ask me to critique your shit because I will tell you honestly. And I hope you do ask me because this honesty is going to help you, you know. Sometimes when you ask people, I just want to say this, um, I notice sometimes you ask people uh, for advice and you might, to critique you, you know, you might not like the way they're coming off, you know, because they put their personality bullshit on it a little bit and it might irk you. But you got to jump over that and try to figure out exactly what that person was trying to say. Take, take it to bed with you at night and rip that shit apart. That person was trying to say something mostly but sometimes the person is truly just an idiot and doesn't know shit and you need to throw that shit out the window gotcha. you know gotcha. and, I, and i do that all the time i always tell people when i hear them like um um you know doing that shit or trying to pick up the word i say ah please stop that just say that shit flow when you talk with me you have to be like a water faucet let that shit flow you know i want that i want that real shit all that real shit, you know, don't come talk to me with all this, these games. When, when you're in the studio, when you're in the studio and you're recording, how do you know that's the joint? Like, how did you know, say, yeah, was that joint? Like, you know, what, what was that creative process like? Oh, my God. I work with one of, oh, not one, um, a couple of the best gifted uh, individuals well, in many ways, uh, and producers, uh, Kenny King Jr., a, f a lifetime friend of mine for well, over 20 years, and um, he, he, me and him and I are on the same frequency, so, you know, we, we charge each other, we charge each other, you know, um, and, and, and he sends me his creative works, and, and he knows he knows me, you know, he knows what I'm going to do. He knows what to do, what to give me. And him, uh, I mean, he's he's at the, the pinnacle. He's he's awesome, awesome producer. One of the best, I believe he is one of the best. Um, and over time, that will be revealed to all those who are uh, engaged and listening to uh, the music that we create. We work together. Um, I, I add to his music and, and, it, and it's just, it comes out to be a masterpiece. All you know, we don't sample anything. Um, he wrote that uh, I think one night, uh, a little bit after he didn't write the, the lyrics, you know, but he came up with the, the, the composition, I believe, um, a couple of days after his father died. So he was really in tune with his emotion, you know. And, and that's just a little something to keep in mind when you hear the composition. Uh, and me, myself, I'm uh, steady uh, battling demons. Uh, myself, you know, they, they, it's, it's, it's uh, you know, something that I, I, I've been having to live with all my life. And it, and with that, I never get all that, but with that, um, I, I can, uh, uh summon and, and trigger a, a lot of emotion from these, these, uh, experiences and thoughts that I ponder and, and it's laced in my music. And if you're listening, if you are listening, you're going to, uh, you're gonna pick it up. It's it's not that silly put silly putty uh, crap. It it just truly is truly is art, and that's why I push for it to be. Uh, it, it's not fair. It's like it's it's so special. I, I would be a greedy greedy person to keep it to myself and just a small few. I feel it's my duty to share it with as many people as possible. So yeah. Um, well. Look, I, mean, I love I love music, bro. I I, I I I I know the frequency, my frequency, you know, and I'm in tune with the earth and, and with the vibrations, and I know when it's right, and I know when it's almost right. <laughs> and a lot of people lie to themselves when they get to that almost right. You need to cut that bullshit out. Fuck with it a few more hours. Get it right. Like when you're playing pool, it's either in the pocket. Oh, it's not in the pocket. You know, if you miss a little bit, you miss. <laughs> you know, I, I try to look at everything that way. 
And I, I mean, sometimes, shit, I don't like nothing. <laughs> I always feel like, <sighs> it's, it's, you know, <laughs> it, 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 it could be a little more vivid. But, huh? so I, I think I, sometimes I'm being just a little bit too far over the top, you know. But I like that because it keeps me striving for more excellence. Because at one point or another, when I said it was it, was it I, I thought it was, you know, it. And then sometimes later, I'm like, mm, this this could have been more this, this could have been more that. And I think all artists have that. I think they just, uh, they, they, they're in a fucking psychedelic state sometimes. <laughs> you know? I call it a gift and a curse. I, I call it a gift and a curse, being an artist. You know, that deal that man. That, you know, when you're not dealing with that, you know, that gifting cur and curse dynamic, you know, I think you suffer you know, as an artist. But look, man, go ahead and get, you know, your shout outs out and then let people know yeah. how they can get in contact with you, like all your social media, and then we're going to go ahead and get into that say yeah. Yeah, I appreciate that. I appreciate everyone. Uh, I, I appreciate all the independent artists and artists and those that advocate uh, for artists. Uh, the people that support the artists, the parents that come out to the shows and support the artists and help with funding. All of you people that that go onto the websites and take the time out to send messages of inspiration and let them know how their song touched you. God bless you because the artists need that they need to know that they connected with you and that's not just for me that's for all artists God bless y'all for helping these people and coming out to the shows and buying their merchandise I love you um that being said radio DJs you know what I'm saying uh promoters that's real uh hostess that's real hype men that's real DJs that's real keep doing what you're doing I love you that's real um uh, executives of the companies, the people behind the curtains, God bless y'all, y'all real, uh, I know you there, I see you, keep doing what you're doing, much love, I want to give a shout out, hold up, uh, wax tags, alright, that's to my aces, gutter beats chugging, you a motherfucking ace, badass producer, Skyland Haggins, you the man, you know what I'm talking about, much respect, much love for you, much love for your show, God bless you, much success, uh, MCFL for life. This is an organization that will tr truly rule the nation. Uh, Penguin Music Group and all the artists that's in it. All right. Um, I'm, uh, I ain't gonna go too far because I can go all night long. Uh, Judgment Day, The Project, Lady Harris, De uh, co founder Death Row, uh, Kevin Black. You know what I'm talking about? Uh, I love you, brother. You know what I'm saying? Uh, shit. Do not get mad if I missed your name because you know that. That shit gonna happen, but I love everybody. You know what I'm saying? Texas, San Antonio, New Orleans, uh, the nation, Africa. God bless you. You know what I'm talking about? Uh, the world, man. I ain't got number love. Number love. I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave it right there. You know, everybody. You know me. Shit. You know me. I fuck with you. God bless you. You know what I'm talking about? You that 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 is mad at me. That think I'm arrogant, narcissistic, motherfucking bastard. God bless you. I love you. Thank you for thinking about me so much. I don't even know you, nigga. All right. God bless you. Hey, hey, hey. All right, man. Well, I guess we got nothing to say, man. Let's All right. Go ahead and jump into that. That say, say yeah. Yeah. By, yeah. By oh, let me say it right quick. Oh, uh, oh okay. in, in two months. In about uh, two, three months, I got so much going on, you know, a couple of tours lined up and, uh, and uh, my, you know, my business endeavors with my, my up and coming artist roster, everything in between. But that's why I don't have the exact date. I'm going to have an, a physical album release party. All right. This could be some shit that motherfuckers ain't seen in a long, long time. All right. It's, I'm going to have it at, uh, I think I'm going to have it at the West End. You know what I'm talking about? That's a five star. Uh, uh, hotel, but it looks like a fucking mansion over here at Lock and Terra. I'm gonna rent the, the the ballroom out or whatever. I'm gonna have an album release party, physical release copies of my masterpiece, my new album, Cry. Who? That, that's that's the most. That, that's twenty years of my my experiences is laced in that album. Okay, I love that album. Cry, the new edition is out. 
uh, digitally, it will be out physically, physical copies, because I still believe motherfuckers still listen to CDs, you know, uh, they just don't buy them, you know, as much, but that's all up to you, everybody got a CD player in their car, I'm putting out CDs, um, it's gonna be star studded, celebrities, red carpet, uh, not too many performers, wine, champagne, uh, a, 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 a list of uh, guests that's gonna blow your mind. You know, I'm talking about uh, Skylin Haggins gonna be in the motherfucking building, man. So y'all need to be there. All right. Yeah, um, man. I, I just wanna I, let y'all know about that. It's coming. Down. I gotta get back down there, man. I um I, I spent um a good time in, in, in Houston and some time in Dallas as oh, well, man. man. And I always always got love, man. Down, down there So uh, You oh. know Cause like you know Sometimes Sometimes People from certain areas Don't flow You know what I'm saying But I like I yeah, always yeah. got love People always show me around To the, the good spots to eat To the good sure. spots to hang out man So I So I definitely Come through To show love to OG man yeah, I, We wouldn't have it Any other way But look right man This is the AM you. Countdown Interview <laughs> Um, version, man. We, like I said, I'm glad y'all up early with us. We got OG Penguin, and I, you know, we never mad when somebody cut me off and they want to plug their own stuff because that's what it's about. Like we want you to go get that cry. You know, we want people yes, yes. to go look up. We want people to go look this man up and, and see if his music, what what he say is about. And then after you hear this record, if you like this record, like don't be afraid to tell somebody you like this record, you know? Like, I get tired of, not tired, because I like some of the people that y'all like, too. But if if your man, like, or, or your man across town says something that really made you go, oh, tell somebody about that, just like when you heard Jada's verse or, or Fab's verse or, or Kendrick's verse, that that's all I'm saying. Like, I'm not a hater. Like, you know, you can show love to more than just people that you think already made it or already rich you know and, and once again you know me y'all y'all know me is like you indie you don't get a pass just because you love music you got to put some hot shit out like if you ain't got people going oh and damn son like yo then yo go back to the lab what you say don't put that almost shit out he said it earlier. Mm -hmm. Yo, take mm -hmm. heed. Go back and listen to the mm -hmm. podcast. Rewind that shit and keep that. Yes. But like, without further ado, man, we gonna jump. One more. One more. One more. Say, yeah. I'm sorry. Okay, go ahead. I'm sorry. Go ahead. I got it. I got it. I'm sorry. I, I wanted to give one more shout out uh, to the dead and those that have passed, and all of my brothers and sisters that's in the penitentiary. Uh, most recently passed is legend. OG Wicked Cricket. I love you, brother. God bless you. May you rest in peace. Okay, Houston legend Wicked Cricket. If y'all don't know, she is uh, an innovator, a pioneer, um, uh, a generator, an introducer, a producer. Um, he's he's wrote, written lyrics and uh, had co ideas for artists like Pow Wow, uh, Lil Kiki, Scarface, uh, Mike Jones, um, a lot of Houston rappers that you do know, but the man behind the. the the, the madness was OG Wicked Cricket, uh, my homeboy and uh, mentor. All right, I'm, I'm done. <laughs> All right, man, no doubt. Thank, thank you again, man. So we're gonna go into your record, yo. I'll be out there looking for you. And like I said, man, if you got another record or you got want to bring one of your artists through, you always welcome here at SkyOnlineRadio.net. And also get your folks to go over to faironeent.com and vote, say yeah, to be part of the countdown. You know what I'm saying? And don't worry, you know, my people will get, you know, you all the information that you need to make this happen. But I want to thank you again for getting up early with me, kicking it with me, and sharing your story, man, and, and, and being so open with it, man. So thank you again, brother. I, I thank you. It was my pleasure. Thank you. God bless. Uh, Say yeah. God bless you too. Yeah. yeah.
give me some head. Yeah, 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 give me some head. Baby girl, give me some head. Yeah, give me some head. Yeah, give me some head. Yeah, give me some head. Baby girl, give me some head. Yeah, give me some head. Yeah, give me some head. Yeah, give me some head. I'm drunk off the wine and the Hennessy. I'm high off the love that you're giving to me. Sucking on your body like Dracula. About to flip your hips over like a spatula. I love when I'm looking at the back of you. Like an animal, I'm actually attacking you. Big booty, big thighs, big eyes, nice waist. I love how this pudding and this pound cake taste. I love when my hands be around your waist. I love how you cry when you look at my face. The splash of the wetness wets my face. I don't know why, but I need that taste. I feel like God and I love this place. Heaven don't hit when you lick that spit. Angels gon' fly when you squeeze them thighs Make you feel weak when I come inside Say yeah cause you down and you listen to me Say yeah in my ear when you whisper to me Say yeah when it's real and you ready to ride You could be my Bonnie and I be Clyde Ride to the end and we down to die Never back down baby look in my eyes Never speak weak when we hit them streets Never look down when you talking to me Say yeah, yeah, give me some head yeah, give me some head. 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 Baby girl, give me some head. Yeah, give me some head. Yeah, give me some head. Yeah, give me some head. Baby girl, give me some head. Yeah, give me some head. Yeah, give me some head. Yeah, give me some head. Something you can call a G The O to the G Yeah, I'm on these streets No problems, don't worry No enemies You can chill at my crib And be friends with me We can smoke, we can drink Baby, this your world I don't know love But I like this girl All in my house All in my bed All in my life All in my head Sucking my soul Sucking me dry Kissing my face Feeding me pie Late in the night Early in the morn Mine don't stop Mine keep going Mine playing tricks, mine be blowing Blow to the east, blow to the west Blow to the south, feel like a beast This feel like a test, I feel like a champ Feel like I won, she gon' have a son Pop that lock, pop this gun Squeeze that trigger, trigger man done Trigger man bounce, bounce that one Shake that two, drop to your knees Crawl to a G, pretty pretty please You ain't going home, give me your phone You are not alone, we about to bone yeah, yeah, give me some head Yeah, give me some head